Welcome back friends to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish, and today we are going to do what I have been dying to share with you. The newest 2023 kitchen designs, what's trending. Guys, what is happening in this space? Follow me. And since so many of you ask about what I am wearing, you guys, I have the biggest announcement to date, which is in 2023, I have launched my own website of a clothing subscription service. That's right, you heard it. Nina approved outfits that I'm gonna be wearing regularly, actually all day, every day, so that you guys can have access to the same outfit. And this is a game changer. Why? Because we are spending so much money, all of us, on buying clothes, updating our clothes on a regular basis. And I honestly feel like I am um, wasting a lot of money and then going through the effort of trying to sell old clothes and then trying to get the money. It's just too much. So. This subscription service allows you to borrow as many outfits as you like. I mean, if you wanna do 30 outfits, 40 outfits, 100 outfits, you can do so. It only has to be four at a time and you just send them back and get new ones. And it's completely refreshed. It's new, all good stuff. It's great brands like Rode, all the things I wear. And all you have to do is pay a monthly subscription fee. And I think it is definitely worth it. And you guys are gonna be seeing me wearing those outfits as I am today with these really cute Hudson jeans. So anyhow, um, everything will be linked in the description section so that you guys can look at it and just check it out. By the way, guys, I'm so excited to announce that we, that's right, you heard it, are going to Paris. We're going to Paris. We're gonna see Paris through Nina's eyes. We're gonna look at design. We're gonna look at architecture. If anybody's interested to come along, it's September 12th through the 18th of this year, 2023, we're gonna go in the fall and we are going to have the best time. I'm gonna show you guys all the things I love about Paris. And if you guys wanna learn more, click the link in the description section that will allow you to um, answer a couple questions and then you'll be able to get emails regarding this trip and get all the intel and all the information. And I'm so excited and looking forward to it. I hope some of you will come along on this journey. Guys, I know a little bit about Tom Ford and this is what he is doing. You'll never know that, but I'm giving you inside info that he puts a lamp on all of his kitchen marble islands and so should we. So look at this new trend. We are actually making the kitchen look more of a uh, no kitchen kitchen, which of course you guys know it all started here with this trend and it is going full force. Having a lamp on your marble beautiful island is a home run. It looks so chic, it's inexpensive, and it is so worthwhile. You just have to give it a little bit of thought into it by making sure you've got the plug so you don't have a cord showing. If you do a little bit of work before you do construction, that'll help. If not, you know, you can try and hide your cord. But the kitchens of 2023 are so uh, sophisticated, as you can see, they are so gorgeous that I wanna rip out my kitchen today and redo it, which is not, prudent of me, but I really, I just wish I could. Also note that in the kitchens of 2023, as you can see in this photo, we are having a very curvy situation, which means the islands are curved. It's bullnose at its finest. We are doing very beautifully rounded, curvaceous, sexy islands that are void of that very sharp edge which was very in, I want to say, you know, for the last 20 years. And now we are really moving away from that. The shapes are very voluptuous, which is a trend that we are seeing in our kitchens in 2023, which is sexy and feminine and just beautiful. If you guys need a 15 or 30 minute consultation or more, you can certainly book a quick Zoom call. I've been getting so many of uh, my followers who have been contacting me with design dilemmas. And it's been so fun to meet some of you that I just want to say hi. Thanks for the contacting me and thanks for the um, trust that you guys give me in helping you with your design dilemmas. So if you're in the middle of construction and you just don't know what to do or you want to move some furniture around, call me. Everything is going to be linked in the description section and I am always happy to help. The next trend that we are seeing across the board is the integration of the dining room, shall I say the breakfast room, into the kitchen in a way that is very transformative and different than we have seen before. In the past, 
I have talked about how you'll have a breakfast nook called also a morning room. But in this particular case, what we're seeing are these integrated spaces into these kitchens that seem like they are part of the kitchen. So it's not the island, which still can double as a place to sit, but then you will see a dining room um, table that is highly desirable and highly organic and um, really mimics the shape and the whimsy of the kitchen. And it's placed in a way that makes it feel part of the kitchen and not separated, if that makes any sense. So I think the pictures speak for themselves. You are seeing this trend, which is really fun and really interesting, and it allows you to think outside of the box. So you could have what would be a double island, have one of the islands double as your eating area, or you can certainly bring in a round, very fun, um, dining room table with these adorable razor blade backs of these chairs. I love these chairs. I want these chairs, you guys. I'm gonna have to have them made. I love them. I don't know who makes them, but whoever does make them is a genius. So razorback chairs, but the positioning of this round table in this kitchen is not off center. It's basically centered with the kitchen uh, main hub, which is where the sink is. And that is something to consider. Also note that the lighting is really fun, interesting, and playful. This idea of having whimsical lighting and playful lighting in your kitchen takes away the severity and the formality of the space, yet you see a lot of elevated marbles included. The next trend you are going to see are ornate marbles. These are marbles that are in nature very descriptive they are a little bit busy, but I like them. I don't know if you might get tired of them, so that's something to think about, but they are very uh, veiny. They have a lot of color to them. The colors are neutral, they're earthy colors, but you see them in um, arabescatos, you see them in these particular marbles that are showing up in these kitchens, and they become center stage. So these marbles are very important in kitchen design, and they are the polar opposite of the white marble kitchens that we were doing, the calicuttas that we were doing back in the day. And they make the kitchen very interesting. You will also note that in these kitchen, we are still uh, pushing the shelf, that single shelf in the kitchen that was really brought to a forefront, I wanna say last year, but it's continuing in 23. And something to note that is also equally important is the reverse hood. Now, I'm sure a lot of you didn't know about this, but the reverse hood is essentially the shape of a trapezoid, right? Would that be a trapezoid, guys? It's been a while since I did algebra, but it's now inverted. It is just throwing off your senses in a bit and giving that little bit of interesting geometric shape to the liner and the hood that are present in every kitchen or actually making them disappear altogether. But in this photo, I wanted to really touch base on the fact that we are also seeing a lot of whimsy. And let me explain what I mean. You have flush mounted small little lights that are basically, we use them as art lights, but we're also using them in kitchens. I use them in my flip project recently. If you haven't seen the complete transformation of my flip project, you are going to click up here. I don't know which corner, but it, it will be linked here for you guys to check out. We did these same kind of pendant lights um, that are flush mounted onto the ceiling and they are focusing on a certain area of the kitchen so they can also not only be decorative, but they're also a task light. This is a task light. Additionally, you have seen in this photo a very artistic uh, light. That is very prevalent in 2023. Out are the days of the three pendants. In fact, if I see another three pendants as I do every day when I go into my kitchen, I just wanna scream. What do I do? Do I rip out my three pendants? Maybe, but you're seeing a lot of interesting lighting in kitchens and I am just loving how um, non-conformist it is. Bi-level islands are also hugely important in 2023 because some people feel um, a bit out of um, their element when they're sitting high up and want to be sort of low to the ground, want to be able to touch their feet to the ground, want to be able to relax. And so this, you know, double level islands are really a great way to incorporate, again, 
the dining area into the kitchen and still make it look very sophisticated. And double islands are, as we actually put one in a recent kitchen, are very useful and also very beautiful. The hottest trend in 2023 for kitchens, which we are seeing time and time again now, is travertine being incorporated into kitchens with a touch of wood. So it's not just travertine, because that would make it very 80s if we did travertine and lacquer. You guys remember Miami Vice, at least some of us do. Uh, this is travertine and wood, and a warm wood, a darker wood, a medium toned wood, even a light wood, I would say. So travertine and wood is a huge, huge trend. I actually love it. Travertine is a porous marble, so it might be a little difficult to keep, you know, uh, debris and things out of, uh, a travertine, but it's also very forgiving because of the fact that it's porous and you're hardly ever going to see any staining or, or um, any sort of uh, markings on the island or etching on the marble. So travertine is a great material and there is also this notion of rounded, um, curvaceous, sexy type kitchens that also are no kitchen kitchens. I might um, even venture to say that I think the idea of a kitchen with appliances is just literally has disappeared. So all of the kitchens that we are talking about all have that single element of being very um, non-kitchen-y for lack of better term and very sophisticated. You might have also noticed in some of these kitchens that we have molding in the kitchen. This one has the dental molding on the periphery of the kitchen. I particularly love uh, this type of dental molding. I love molding in general, so I think incorporating molding into your kitchen also tends to make it feel like more of a um, formal yet interesting architectural space versus just a kitchen. So I love molding. If ever you guys are wondering, should I add molding in the kitchen? The answer is yes. Yes, yes, and yes, and always yes because of the fact, and don't just do regular crown molding. No, boring. Do dental molding or do interesting carved molding juxtaposed with simplicity of the kitchen and um, making it look very sort of European. Thank you, my beautiful friends, for joining me on this episode of The Red Elevator. I love to provide content for you guys. I want to know what was your favorite kitchen? of all of the kitchens I showed you, let me know, sound off below, because I always am interested in hearing what your opinion is. I value you guys, I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you again next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.